Good morning, Falcons. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here at East Lawrence, we work hard to establish an effective, supportive, culturally relevant learning environment that fosters social, emotional, academic success. Happy late birthday to Justin Ashley and Ashton Kaysen. Happy birthday to Martavis Sanders. Today for lunch, we'll be having chicken tenders and roll, cheeseburger, or PB&J bag, fries, baked beans, and salad. These are the October Beta Club events. From October 3rd through the 31st, there's Socktober. On October 20th, there's the Family Engagement Night. And on October 22nd, there's the movie On the Lawn. If you have any questions, please talk to Senora White. PBIS will be hosting a Family Fun Night on Thursday, October 20th from 6 to 8. Come out and have a good time seeing what all of your school has to offer. There will also be an extra credit incentive for those who attend. Girls basketball conditioning will begin on Monday, October 17th and will continue to Wednesday, October 19th and Friday, October 21st from 3.30 to 4.45 at the Old Football Field. Tryouts will begin on the following Monday, October 24th, immediately after school until 5.30. If you're interested in trying out, make sure you sign the basketball tryouts sheets that are located on the table near the entrance to the cafeteria. Also make sure you have a current physical on file. You will not be able to condition or try out without one. Boys basketball conditioning will begin on Monday at the track complex after school from 3.30 to 4.45. Basketball tryouts will begin on Monday, October 24th from 5.30 to 7.30. You must have a physical on file to participate in conditioning and tryouts. Please sign up with the QR code that is posted throughout the school. We will have a brief meeting on Friday during break in the cafeteria. This is the driver's ed schedule for this week. FFA will be selling Southern Heritage Gourmet meat products from now until October 21st. Members that plan to attend the Sunbelt Ag Expo are encouraged to sell at least five items to offset the cost of the trip. The Sunbelt Ag Expo will be held on October 19th. FFA members should see Ms. Sheffield for our fundraiser form. Anyone interested in wrestling this year should sign up by scanning this QR code or one of the QR codes posted outside the library, cafeteria, or the weight room. Make sure you use your school.info account to sign up. The first practice is October 24th in the auxiliary gym. Make sure you have a physical and a dragonfly account. Hey guys, I just escaped to tell you. We have a spooktacular dance on October 29th from 7 to 10. Costumes are not required, but are encouraged. At East Lawrence High School, we believe in giving back to our community. This year, the Growing Young Men Program, FFA, and Skills USA organizations are partnering to feed approximately 50 families in Lawrence County. We are asking each of you to join in by providing non-perishable canned goods and other food items that will benefit those who may be less fortunate than us during the Thanksgiving holiday season. You can drop off items to the below rooms beginning October 3rd, 2022. Coach Chris Burley, a.k.a. Coach Chris, is working on his first year as a high school P.E. teacher. Prior to this, he worked for 10 years at Lawrence County Sheriff's Department, most recently as sergeant. He has been a community coach at East Lawrence for the past five years, coaching softball and basketball. This is his first year coaching high school football. In addition, Coach Chris has been working with the youth in the community for the past 18 years. He coaches rec football, boys basketball, and he has an AAU travel basketball team. This year, in his rec team, DLCRA Legacy All-Stars won the state basketball championship. Coach Chris decided to become a teacher because he wanted to help be a positive role model in kids' lives. Because of his background and experience in law enforcement, he knows that so many kids get lost in the system. As a result, he felt the need to try to help them before they make their way to, before they make a life-changing decision. His desire is to show the kids and the students he teaches and coaches that everyone can be successful no matter their background or where they, came, where they come from. In his spare time, he enjoys playing basketball, fishing, hunting, and spending time with his family. Coach Chris has been married to his beautiful wife, Sherry, for 12 years, and they have one beautiful daughter, Kirsten, age five. 
When asked why Sierra picked Coach Chris, she said, I picked to spotlight Coach Chris because he has always had my back. Even though I have only been a Lady Falcon softball player for three years, he has never doubted me. Even though he has to get on to me sometimes, Coach Chris will always be that coach that I remember because of his hard work and caring attitude for us at East Lawrence. I will miss him this year when I graduate. I just want to thank him for being in my corner and for him to know I appreciate and love him dearly. Thank you, Coach Chris, for all you do for East Lawrence. Thank you, Coach Chris, for your caring attitude, being that hard worker, and for having Sierra's back.